spontaneously in corporate order and disorder, clarity and confusion, unity and multiplicity, artistry and chaos. They may be perceived as a path, a linear but circuitous, a passage to a goal or a design. Our perception of labyrinth is thus intrinsically unstable. Change your perspective and the labyrinth seems to change. Unfortunately, the dichotomy between those who participate inside, those view from the outside, breaks down when considering the house simply because no one ever sees that labyrinth in its entirety. The comprehension of its intricacies must always be derived from within. Labyrinth. The Latin labor is akin to the root labi, meaning to slip or slide backwards. Although the commonly perceived meaning suggests difficulty in work, implicit in labyrinth is a required effort to keep from slipping or falling, in other words, stopping. We cannot relax within those walls. We have no str we have to struggle past them. Hugo of St. Victor has gone so far as to suggest that the antithesis of labyrinth, that which contains work, is Noah's Ark. In other words, that which contains rest. Heterogeneity of desperate, disparate, and thus with such an unanticipated and unreconciled gesture, bring about a reassessment of self. Passages that wind, advance, and retreat in a bewildering, intricate manner. Jaime also wrote when describing the Egyptian maze doors are let into the walls at frequent intervals to suggest deceptively the way ahead and to force the visitor to go back upon the very same tracks that he has already followed in his wanderings. If the work demanded by any labyrinth means penetrating or escaping it, the question of process becomes extremely relevant. For instance, one way out of any maze is to simply keep one hand on a wall and walk in one direction. Eventually, the exit will be found. Unfortunately, where the house is concerned, this approach would probably require an infinite amount of time and resources. It cannot be forgotten that the problem posed by exhaustion, a result of labor, is an inextricable part of any encounter with a sophisticated maze. In order to escape this, we have to Remember, we cannot ponder all past, but must decode only those necessary to get it out. We must be quick and anything but exhaustive. Yet, as Seneca warned in his Epistule Morales 44, going too fast also incurs certain risks. Quod in nevit in labyrintho pro Perantibus is but illos velocitas in 
slut sack. Unfortunately, the anfractuosity of labyrinths may actually prohibit a permanent solution. More profounding still, its complexity may exceed the imagination of even the designer. Therefore, anyone lost within must recognize that no one, not even a god or an other, comprehends the entire maze and so therefore can never offer a definite answer. Wall shifts in extraordinary ha size remain singular and applicable only to those on the path at the particular time. All solutions then are necessarily personal. This is what happens when you hurry through a maze. The faster you go, the worse you are entangled. Words worth taking to heart, especially when taking into account Pascal's remark found in Paul Demand's allegories of reading. If one reads too quickly or too slowly, no one understands nothing. One understands nothing. So, De Idalis made those innumerable winding passages, and was himself scarce able to find his way back to the place of entry, so deceptive was the enclosure he had built. Horace Gregory, however, offers a slightly different translation, so De Idalis designed his winding maze, as one entered it, only a wary mind could find an exit to the world again. Such as the cleverness of that strange arbor. Or in other words, shy from the sky. No answers lie there. It cannot care, especially for what it no longer knows. Treat that place as a thing unto itself, independent of all else, and confront it on those terms. You alone must find the way. No one else can help you. Every way is different. And if you do lose yourself, at least take solace in the absolute certainty that you will perish. I'm not sure why I feel like I understand this on an entirely different level. What I mean to say is that weird encounter with Tatiana seems to have helped me somehow, as if getting off was all that I needed to diminish some of this dread and panic. I guess Thumper was right. Of course the downside is that this new discovery has left me practically beside myself, by which I mean pre-epic. Veiling darkness, ultimately capturing this dark form, vanishing behind the closing. Door. Even through a hole the size of a fist, punches through the mountain. The round powerful enough to propel the bullet into the second door. Now except it merges inside this is endless corridor. Sometimes the ceiling just drops in on him. <laughs> 